Okay, today's a good day. We're buying three houses. Um, they're all sale agreed. I'm just going up. I've got two things I've, I, I check, got, to, got to check off. Uh, I'm going to do my own little survey as well. So three houses in one day. It's a good day. It's quite an unusual day. I can't remember the last time I bought three houses in one day. They're actually all sale agreed. So what we're doing now is uh, it's a Friday. They'll be going through on, on, on a Monday. So once I've done this, I'll just send a quick email over and... Um, Get, get get ready to exchange and complete um, one of them actually I'm not sure what if all three or I've, I've got some notes here but one of them's definitely got shutters on it so I'm going to be careful when the shutters are on it that um, when you complete somebody's there to reboard the place back up because they take them down pretty quick um, yeah so we'll be there in a minute uh, next time I switch this on there'll be an estate agent there and we'll be we'll be looking around I thought I'd take the opportunity to just show you around the houses before we buy them I might get an, another couple of glimpses of them uh, throughout the, uh, other articles other blogs as, uh, as as the renovations go on but it will be a nice way of me showing you how we conduct a viewing so normally we take the iPhone and take take pictures you know throughout the throughout the viewing I'll just leave the, the video running and uh, show you all the things that we're sort of looking at and trying to work out on a on a on a viewing, we have already viewed these properties. They're sale agreed, so um, I don't need to sort of concentrate on anything. I can sort of waft around and just just give you the insight and the rundown. So uh, in a minute, I'll pop 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 back on, and the uh, the estate agent will be there, and uh, we'll start doing a, a video there. See you in a minute. Right, here we are then, viewing. So R one here. This is um, all boarded up. That's the street. And uh, there's some nicer bits up here actually. We are, we are definitely buying, um, I'll go back here this way. We're definitely buying the, the worst house on the street. I think we've got four on this street already. Uh, one down here, one down there. First thing you check is you know, all the flashing around here, um, chimneys, roof, and all that. So that's just that's the, the first one we check. Not too many parish bricks and those kind of things. All this that will all get repointed and painted. It's got shutters on so they come off. Uh, you've got to watch it when the shutters come off because um, these things, uh, the guys have taken all these um, the windows out and so this is you know, like this uh, so that all needs to go back in it needs to be timed so that the house is left secure so this is the front room reasonably straight uh, coming through into the kitchen the, uh, half decent knit. There's a few things that need changing, but it's not not a disaster in here. And go upstairs. I think this this house. Um, you, know, you can walk in this house in any city up and down the UK and find something that's almost identical to the nearest inch in terms of the way it's where it's built. Um, we'll put a, um, a, uh, like a little wall here so you can get a proper shower coming off and that's the, the way to get that. It smells a bit funky in here but nothing that a good decorate won't sort out. Uh, when I was saying when we do viewings, I'd actually always start at, at, at the top. And one of the smells is, is that, that's not dirt really, that's dirt in there. It's uh, all been drained down so the, the drains come back, the drain smoke comes back. I'd always take a picture of, of that there so you know that one it's got double glaze in. You can age a double glaze by um, the thickness. I'd always take a picture of the radiators just to remind myself that um, it's got central heating. I've bought houses in the past without central heating um, and not really remembered um, or realised. This, that's interesting. So this here is a humidity sensing fan. It's exactly the same one as we want to flip. So that saves us a job. You program that for um, bathroom or kitchen and kick on all the lights and those kind of things. Big second bedroom. Again, here we're just checking around. I check around all the ceiling edges like that, just checking for you know, is it puckered or anything like that, shows a bit of movement. Little cracks like that's fine. If there's sort of big raking cracks here and here, that'll be an issue. Um, and this just leads a little bit of tidying up and decorating in there. We've got all the glazing, we've got a radiator, the sockets that look half decent. I know the vendor, this vendor that's uh, with the, the people we're buying at office, Housing Association. So, generally speaking, there are actually on this house, which is unusual, certificates and that kind of thing available here. Um, so, I know it's been even though it looks 
looks a little bit rough. Actually, the fabric of the building has been looked after okay. I'd imagine the radiators will work, the sockets will work, those kind of things. There'll probably even be an electrical certificate for this house. So. That's it, two bedroom house. Um, looking forward to it. Number one of the day. Here we go then, box number two, and in a second, this is property number two, uh, sorry, number three, so we haven't got far to go. Around the area, it's you know, a nice little park there. It's got a, little, a load of money spent on it. Um, new roofs up and down everywhere. You know, it's getting to the school kicking out time, and it's um, yeah, it's uh, you wouldn't be scared to walk around here in the, in the dark. And most of the houses are reasonably clean and tidy, so um, yeah, new roof. This has all been repointed, that looks fine. The front of the uh, house looks fine, no cracks or anything. So, all I'm really looking for is. It's the obvious stuff, and if there's anything that I can't explain, then I'd get a proper survey around here to explain it. So, um, again, not a lot needs doing really other than decorating and putting a few things together. It's had a um, NIC and ICE check on the, on the electric, so that's okay. Uh, the front door needs securing a bit. Kitchen pretty standard, reasonably small for sure, but um, up the steep stairs. And this is your standard here. There you go. One bedroom. I would imagine that they've had a leak on the roof, so it looked like a reasonably new um, flashing outside, and that means it probably leaked. And then they've Replastered, put a vent in to stop it, um, you know, to help it dry out. Double glazing, that's it. That's an acceptable fire escape window there. It has got a radiator. That's basically my checks. Freshly plastered. Here makes this makes it a small. Second bedroom, but it's not too small to be honest, it's still a bit of single bed in there. And the bathroom, uh, I don't need to do anything particularly, but we'll, we'll put a whole new bathroom suite in, so it'll be tiles on the floor, new uh, toilet pan, sink and, uh, and bath, or oh, sink and bath. Uh, but you know, in terms of the layout, it's exactly the same as that. That's property number two today. I'm just checking out the back now, and I did check out the back of property number one, I just didn't video it. Um, and you can see that, yeah, the roof did get done both sides. Um, there's a fence, and this is a pretty crappy fence. It would put me off buying it if I wanted to live here, for sure. There's no fence in the middle, there's no fence here, and all this area is just horrible. So, by the time we put, so this is going to be our house, but this is one we were in a minute ago, and I'm going to buy that one today, and we're going to buy this one as well. Put a fence up, put a fence up, and put a fence up, and one of those isn't my fences. You know, I can't own three fences for two houses. Don't care. I'm going to put it up, and uh, that will definitely add value to the house and livability. <laughs> um, and we're going to go in the front door of this house in a minute, but I won't come out the back again. Um, some insulation. Though. This is the uh, you know stepped out. You can see here it's all all been uh, insulated. Just go around the outside here. You can see you know this is stepped out off the brick. You can hear that. It's just. Uh, insulation all the way through it so that's added a bit of value as well I didn't expect that this house has, hasn't been done I won't bother doing it we wait for grants for that kind of stuff so when there's a grant that's when we do it but for now it'll just be repointed made watertight all of the rainwater goods yeah that's not going to help anything and you can see what's been happening there that'll put people off and they'll be damp on the inside of the kitchen but dead easy fix so yeah there we go. okay so outside property number two, uh, three, that is, that is two, and this is three, so this is the third one of the day. Uh, new roof, really, really strange, you can sort of see, you know, I would imagine these roofs have been done, these two roofs have been done at exactly the same time, there's no join between them, there is a join there, so that, they're, they're not the same. So same owner of these two houses, roof being done at the same time, however, never redid the gutters look, they are wooden gutters, and yet they make gutters out of wood, and uh, they used to, so that will come off new face you're on I don't know if you can quite see it there but just at that point there there's a, um, a downpipe that's off so that's just going to leak and make everything wet and horrible I don't like a painted front but once it's done it's done so you've got to keep it painted so we'll repaint that 
this is the fourth or fifth house I bought on the street, so I know the street, I know what comparables I'm getting at the other end. I mean, even little things like that, if you can just clean that out, but pop that over, that'll save you a world of, a world of problems. Um, one thing I did notice, so that's, that's fine, but I don't really like this, this is on box number two. Not a lot I can do about it, but just be aware there. There's no threshold. This is probably, if you dig down a foot on there, you'll find cobbles underneath. And the councils generally just keep surfacing and surfacing over the top. So you have got to watch that. Um, and next door it'll be okay. Not quite as nice in here, but it is what it is. There is a radiator, it's not as modern radiator look. So it's a single, not, not a double fin. It has got new double glaze in here, there. And so I've never been in this house before, but I'd imagine it'd be exactly the same as the other ones. Yeah, the doors. Yeah, alright, it needs a bit, but uh, into the kitchen. Oh, it looks alright actually. Um, last time Julie was in here viewing it, like I say, I, I didn't I didn't find this house, somebody else found it and uh, somebody who works for me, they found it and uh, the sale agreed it. I'm just getting ready to sign off and just check, check it's clear and ready because it wasn't all clear. There's still a few bits, but I'm happy with these bits before we complete on Friday. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's already been checked out and the, the heating was working. It was basically it was warm last time that uh, Julie was in there. It's always a bit weird, isn't it? A lock on the outside of the door. So a lock on the outside of a kid's bedroom door. Wow. Uh, Double glazed, got a radiator, walls are straight and that much plaster coming off, doors are all you know, fine fit. It's not a lot else to do to this house other than decorate it. Bathroom, change everything like for like. It's even got an extractor fan. I will change that extractor fan for uh, the humidity sensing one like in house number one. That's it, that's, uh, that's this house. We'll get it bought on Monday. So, there we go then. There was uh, three viewings, um, three houses bought. I've just been doing a bit of, uh, i pulled over, got the um, uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot on, and I'm transferring the money over. So those three houses there were exchanging this afternoon. Just thought I'd run through the numbers. Um, the first one we're paying £45,000 for, and the other two we're paying £35,000 for each. Um, so I'm transferring over a grand total of £115,000 uh, right now. Actually, there's a little bit more than that because there's some, uh, well, there's no stamp duty on a £35,000 house. That's uh, one thing worth noting. And there is obviously on the 45 one. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, uh, just, just over £120,000, um, which seems ridiculous for three houses. It's worth noting, and you might have noticed when we're going around those houses, they aren't the most salubrious areas, but they aren't rough. They're not somewhere where you'd be worried about, um, uh, you know, walking late at night or you know, collecting the rent. If you had to collect the rent in cash, who would collect the rent in cash these days? But you know, that was, that was the old-fashioned test. You know, would you be scared to park a nice car up there, and go go to the front door, and um, um, collect collect the rent? So. Um, and we wouldn't. They're all areas where people will work. You know, there, there are there are um, there are jobs there. Uh, we also know they rent out really quickly. Like I say, we we were buying three houses today, but uh, we've got a few dozen within sort of a quarter of a mile, half a mile of each one of those locations. And um, yeah, we know they all rent out. In fact, actually, the last we we brought five on in one week. You know, they all went live in a week. And they'd all gone by that 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 week, so you know they rent out quick. Um, so the figures, the first one, uh, renovation-wise, we're going to be spending twelve thousand pounds on it, and then the other two, it's one's eight and one's six. I think that's uh, one needs a bit of uh, a boiler, bit of electric electric work on the boiler, uh, and also then the fence. You might notice that that fence that you're doing. So that's why one's more expensive than the other because they did look remarkably similar inside. So all in, uh, yeah, 141 plus plus the legal fees and the stamp duty for that one that has got stamp duty on it, it's just over 145,000 pounds. 
Um, when they're all done, one will rent for 475, the other two will rent for 450 each, so that's 1375 a month, 16 and a half grand a year. It's a great yield. Um, really importantly for us, once that work is done, they will be worth uh, about 200,000 pounds between them. Um, yeah, sort of 60, 65 for the, for the, for the sort of, uh, the two, the you know, properties two and three, and then the first one's a little bit more, it's about 70 grand, so um, there's a good game in there, sort of 50, 50, 55,000 pounds gain, you know, capital gain, I'm not selling them, but that means that uh, when refinancing, I won't quite get all my money back out, but I will get most of my money back out, uh, and at that point, you know, a good yield of... Um, so what, what's 13, 1375 per month versus 140 grand. It's, it's a you know, 10, 11 percent yield, isn't it? Um, which is great, but my yield will be infinite because I'll have none of my own capital employed on that. So once we've refinanced, pull all the money back out and um, yeah, none of my own money. But we'll go back on to buying, buying more houses of the same capital pot. So... Um, that's the, that, that's the end of the video. I hopefully found it uh, useful. We're uh, buying three houses in one day. Good day.